Well, hello friends, Scott from Plot River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, you get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. I check in with you once a week to update you on my keto progress, and I try to check in with you at least one at a time during the week to share something with you. Usually, uh, something that I've learned about the keto lifestyle, but uh, sometimes it's a little something that I've learned about this journey that we call life. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, and I am still in Utah. For those of you who have been following along for my last few videos, I've been checking in with you a little bit more often than once or twice a week because I have been stuck in Utah for a couple more days than I was planning on. I was planning on driving home on Sunday. We got a little bit of the way uh, away from my father-in-law's house, which is where we're staying here in Utah, and we turned around and went back, which was good because um, the freeway I-80 has not been open in Wyoming since Sunday morning and it is still closed today. Uh, also, I understand for some friends back home that we got about seven inches of snow last night in North Platte, Nebraska, and North Platte is pretty well shut down today as well. So, yeah, it's been interesting. And I have to be honest with you guys, it's been pretty tough on me mentally, especially yesterday and particularly today. Um, I'm ready to go home, my wife is ready to go home, my kids are ready to go home. And uh, any of you who know me at all, or what you may have gathered um, based off of my videos, I'm a real plan person. So I've been off the plan here for about two and a half days, meaning my just what am I doing today plan. And it is been driving me almost crazy. So um, what's interesting about that is that kind of led me into what I want to talk with you guys about for just a couple of minutes today. And that is... Um, the keto diet and exercise. Now, if you're just barely starting uh, the keto lifestyle, if you've happened upon my channel and you're brand new to keto, uh, a lot of people will tell you that exercise is not necessary to lose weight on the keto diet. That, that is absolutely true. Uh, I am living proof of that. I did not exercise intentionally at all for the first 90 days um, that I was on keto and I lost probably between 60 and 70 pounds during those first three months. Having said that, I think that exercise is really important. I'd like to talk about why I think it's important. Again, I don't think it's important right away. And I think that if you're just starting, you're doing a lot of different things in your life. If you're coming over from the standard American diet, you're making a really big change. So asking you to make a really big change to your movement if you haven't been doing much, in addition to making a really big change to your diet, is one of the reasons that I think that we don't necessarily recommend to people to start a big exercise program right away when you start keto. Um, I made a couple of notes, and I'm going to go ahead and refer to them a little bit. Uh, first, I, I thought a little bit to myself, why exactly is there a negative connotation to exercise with keto? And I, I came up with three things. I, there's probably more than this, but I came up with three things that I thought about um, as to why exercise is thought of kind of negatively sometimes in the keto community. And the first reason is that not doing something is a heck of a lot easier than doing something. Um, so if I can tell you that you can... Uh, be successful on keto without exercise. That's just one less thing that you have to do. As I was probably, you know, as I was just talking to you guys just a minute ago about how I don't recommend it right away because it's a lot to do. If I just tell you you don't ever have to exercise, you're like, great, one more thing I, you know, check that off, one thing I don't have to do. So I think that's one reason uh, why it kind of gets a negative connotation. Um, the next reason is that most of us have been taught our entire lives, especially those of us who have been overweight, have been told what? Our entire lives by the doctor. Say it with me, eat less, move more. And we were told that if, if we would just do that, that we would be healthy and we would lose weight. And I don't know about you, but that didn't really work for me. And it actually really frustrated me that, that so many people told me that if I just did that, if, if, that I was somehow, something was wrong with me because I couldn't lose weight by doing that. And so I think that Sometimes we end up throwing out the baby with the bathwater, metaphorically speaking. Um, and because <clears throat> we reject that advice, the whole concept of eat less and move more, that sometimes we decide that means don't move at all, which I don't think is true. I don't think it's anything that we really want at the end of the day, but I think that's another reason why there's kind of a negative connotation toward exercise uh, in the keto community. Last thing is the, the whole concept that you can actually lose weight. Um, without exercising. Like I already said, I, that, I'm living proof that that's true. So if I can do it without exercise, why would I exercise? Um, and now I'd actually like to make the case for exercise. Um, and the whole reason that I thought of this is because, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going a little bit stir-crazy because I haven't been able to go home. 
and I was getting kind of in a low down mental state. And I got up this morning, um, checked the website for the Wyoming Department of Roads, saw that the roads were closed again. And I got to admit, guys, I was feeling a little down. Um, I was feeling a lot down, actually. I'm so ready to go home. Uh, but I knew that one of my commitments, as you guys know, my goals was to get a, a workout in every day. And I got to tell you, there was a big temptation to hit the snooze button and sleep in until I had to get up and uh, get some work done as I'm actually working remotely again today. Um, but instead of doing that, I got up, I got my DDP workout done. And I will tell you that by the time I finished my 30 minute workout, um, life is not perfect. I still really want to go home, but I was in a much, much better mental place. I was able to quit looking at the negative and start looking at the positive. There's a lot of positive things um, about being where I'm at today. One of them is that I'm not stuck in a hotel halfway across Wyoming, which is where I would have been if I hadn't turned around. I would have been on my third day staying in a hotel. Um, and I'm able to look at those positive things, I think at least in part because of my, uh, the, my mental, I have more mental clarity because I exercised this morning. Um, so I, I want to posit to you that exercise is good for you and important for you on the keto diet, not because you're going to lose a lot of weight because of the exercise, but I think peripherally you will. And that's because it's so good for your mental health to exercise. It's so good for your well-being to exercise. Um, and I'm living proof of that today. And that, again, that was what really got me thinking about exercise and wanting to even talk to you about exercise today was what a difference it made for me today. Um, the other thing that I thought about, another case for exercise with the keto diet is that the reason that you embarked on this diet, I, for some of you, obviously there are other medical things that the keto diet can really help with. Um, it's, it's great for epilepsy. It's great for redu uh, reversing type two diabetes. It's great. It's great for a lot of things. Um, but for, uh, a lot of us, we probably came to the keto because we wanted to keto diet because we wanted to lose weight. Um, but the real question becomes, what did you want to lose weight for? You want to be able to do things, right? You want to be able to go hiking. You want to be able to go walking. You want to be able to play with your kids. And of course, getting that extra weight off of your joints and everything is absolutely imperative to being able to do those things. But in addition to that, um, exercising and training your body to be able to do the things that you want to be able to do is really important. And I think something that if you sat down and talked to yourself, it's something that you want to do. And so while I'm not saying that you need to train for a 5k or a marathon or, you know, become a bodybuilder, unless that's what you want to do, but I'm saying you don't have to do those things, but exercise for what you want to be able to do. I think that, uh, again, if you ask yourself, you know, why am I wanting to be healthier? I'm wanting to be healthier to be able to do things and exercise will help you to be able to do things. Um, the last thing is that exercise is good for your body. It is. It's good for your heart. It's good for your lungs. It's good for your muscles and your tendons and your ligaments to stretch and to lift heavy things and to do hard things. That's all good for your body. And again, is it going to be the, the driving force behind your weight loss? No, exercise will not be that. But I think that it is a complementary thing that will greatly enhance your life. Uh, not just your diet, but your entire life. And so that's my case for exercise, guys. I recommend it. Um, to come all the way back around full circle though, uh, what I am not saying is that in order to have any success on keto, you have to exercise. And I'm also not saying that if you're just getting started, if you found my channel and this is the first thing that you're seeing, you do not have to exercise right away. You don't have to exercise hard. When you start out, your exercise can be walking around the block. Uh, for me, guys, if you go back and you can watch my story, you will know that I could barely walk from my house to the mailbox, so to speak. Um, I could barely walk around the store with my wife. So when I first started, when I say that I didn't exercise for the first 90 days, that's entirely true. Having said that, I did get an intentional movement. So that might be the way that you start exercising. 
Um, as you start to get in a little bit of better shape physically and you feel like you want to do more, maybe find an exercise program. I love DDPY. I get absolutely nothing if you sign up for DDPY. I am not associated or affiliated with them in any way. But I think it's great, and that's why I recommend it to friends if they want to know uh, a workout that, that might be good for them, uh, something that might be good for you. But find, you can find something like that. And again, at the end of the day, in my opinion on exercises, what do you want to be able to do? If you want to be able to run a 5K and that's something that appeals to you, do that. Train for a 5K. Start walking and then jogging. And, you know, if, if you want to be able to uh, enter some sort of competition, if you want to be in a sports league, whatever it is, you can train your body to do that. And I think that sometimes in the keto community, we talk so negatively about exercise that a person who's new to the community might get the impression that that we're not for exercise in the keto community. And I don't think that that's true. I think that that most of us would benefit greatly from exercise. And um, yeah, that was my case for exercise. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. I am grateful for the opportunity to talk with you a little bit today. Um, that in addition to my exercises thing, I think has helped me mentally a little bit today as I was really down. I really hope that the next time I talk to you, I will be talking to you from my house in Nebraska. Uh, but for now, keep calm and keto on, and we'll talk to you guys soon.